Hurricane Hova has shocked everyone today here in the Eastern Pacific and has explosively intensified from a tropical storm earlier on this morning to a, to a mid Category 4 hurricane. Right now it is currently located at 14.9 degrees north, 111.7 degrees west, and is still intensifying at this time. Based on satellite information, we've given it winds of 145 miles an hour and a pressure of 943 millibars. That's 235 kilometers per hour in one minute sustained winds. Right now, this powerful hurricane is moving west-northwest at 15 miles per hour. So sort of the storm is located right now, very far away from any land areas, but you can see the coastline of Mexico is fairly close off towards the northeast, but the storm is moving off towards the west-northwest. No land areas are at risk over the next five days, with a mainly eastern side-heavy side wind field. Right now, the storm is located 555 miles away from Travel San Lucas, 580 from Punta Vallarta, 665 from Mazatlan, 680 from Manzanillo, and if you were wondering, 2,875 miles away from Hilo on the big island of Hawaii. No watches or warnings are in effect for the next five days, or no land areas are at risk, I should say, for the next five days. This hurricane is forecast to remain far from any land areas and is still intensifying at this time and could get close or maybe even attain Category 5 status over the next 12 to 24 hours. We'll have to wait and see on that. So this is what we're seeing right now in terms of these satellite estimates. One of the big satellite estimates, or a lot of them I should say, are unfortunately lagging behind with this storm. They really haven't caught up with, with this intensification phase, so we're really having to rely on our own Dvorak fixes right now to judge the storm's intensity. The National Hurricane Containers Forecast Cone suggests that these storm could peak with winds of 155 miles an hour in the next 12 hours. Uh, they did go with a wind with an initial wind speed of 130 miles per hour, but we think that's a little bit low. That was based on data around 18Z. Given that it is now 22Z now, uh, it is quite likely that this storm has intensified quite a lot since then, especially because the eye temperature since then has warmed 20 degrees from, from negative 10 degrees Celsius to positive 10 degrees Celsius, and is still warming at this time. These are temperatures right now underneath the storm around 29 degrees Celsius. They have come down just ever so slightly uh, since the storm formed around, 20, around two days ago, and they will continue to drop ever so slightly. But the storm around the storm still has around a day and a half to show us what it's made of before these temperatures significantly drop. Winds are not an issue, thankfully. So this is what the HWR model run. It's been it's been hopefully lagging by. It's been hopelessly lagging behind for the, really the storm's entire life, to be honest. Rainfall not going to be a threat to any land areas over the next five days, so that's a, that's a good thing. This is what the REM dynamic plot is seeing right now. You can see a whole, pretty much every single big model run that we use is hopelessly lagging behind on this storm intensification trend. National Hurricane Container forecasting 135 knots, 150 miles, miles an hour at peak. Wind shear is going to rise a little bit, but I think I don't think that should be much of an issue for this storm right now. I think that the other conditions are going to offset it, considering that there is a massive upper level anticyclone over the system, which is greatly helping this storm intensify right now. Seeds of temperatures are on their way down, and relative humidity is favorable for this storm to continue intensifying right now. Looking at the satellite imagery of the storm, it is absolutely phenomenal, and sort of reminds me personally of Typhoon Hagibus back in 2019. I know that earlier, personally, I was also comparing it to Hurricane Linda in terms of its overall structure and not really its cloud tops. Uh, so that is certainly some comparisons for this storm right now. But you can see here, cloud tops are cooling around the eye. And the eye, as I said earlier, is still warming at this time. So this storm is still intensifying. Microwave imagery does not indicate that the Niall Poison cycle is in sight. So the peak intensity of the storm is likely yet to be seen. Will it get to where it's Category 5 status? We'll find out over the next 12 to 24 hours. It's still got a little bit of time to show us before it's made of before sea temperatures decrease, and we'll have further updates on this extremely dangerous hurricane, as well as Hurricane Lee in the Atlantic over the next few days. Stay tuned to 413's outlets for the latest information, and if this moment gets to Category 5 status, we'll have another video update overnight tonight.